Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can get rid of visible fractures on objects after using self fracture add-on. So before going to that video, I would like to give a small update regarding the delay or why I am not active for almost a month. So all these days I am working on my second channel where I upload short 3D simulation videos definitely inspired from other YouTubers. So most of the time we'll go on creating those videos only. So if you like simulation kind of videos, you can check that channel and if you find those videos interesting, please do subscribe that channel also and support me. So you can find that channel link in description and also you will find that channel link in the comment section. So now without any further ado, let's come to our main topic. So here you can say I'm using Blender 2.93 by the way. So here I got this Minecraft block which I have downloaded from Sketchfab. So you can use any model you want. So now if I want to break this into small pieces, first we need to get cell fracture add-on enabled. So first go to this edit preferences, come to this add-ons and look for cell fracture just such as cell. So by default, this will be unchecked, enable it and save those preferences and close that. Okay. So now we are good to go. So now let me select this model and let me place this here and also let me rotate this here a bit. Okay. So now before going to break this into small pieces, I will add inner material for this. So outer, it got this texture here. So I want to have some material inside of this block also so now let me come to this material options okay so we got one material here it got the texture so i will create an another material okay and i will add a new material i will change that base color to something like brown or else let me pick this color only here okay so here you can see we got this second material here so we will apply this material for the inside of this cube so now let's break this cube into small pieces. So before going to break this into small pieces, first we need to add some subdivisions. So if I press tab on the keyboard, you can see there are no subdivisions, you know, subdivisions here. So now let me add some subdivisions. So right click, subdivide, right click, subdivide. So let me add one more. So these many subdivisions are enough. So now you can press tab to exit that edit mode. Okay. So now we are good to go for this. So select the cube now, come to this object. Quick effects, select this cell fracture. So we'll get this a pop up here. So source limit means number of pieces we want. So I will change this to 65. You can give a number of counts you want, but if you increase the count, it may take time. So I will limit this to 65. Okay. So here, this is important. So here we have created this second material, right? For the inside cube. So we need to change this to one. So after changing this, the inside cube will have this material. Okay. So I will create a collection here. So let me change this to collection. So all the pieces will be inside this pieces collection. Okay. So once this is done, just click OK. So it starts to break into small pieces. Okay. So this is done. So here you can see these pieces are selected or collected into this collection. And this is our main cube. Okay. So now select this main cube hide it out okay now select the pieces here now let me move on to the solid viewport so here you can see we got these fractures visible okay so now let me select all the pieces here okay so now come to these options and select this individual origin after selecting or setting this to individual origins now press s on the keyboard and reduce the scaling here a bit like this so now we got some space or gap between these pieces okay so now select any of the piece here come to this physics property and add this rigid body so type let it be active okay so now if i play this you can see the piece will be falling down so we need to copy this physics property or rigid body properties to rest of the pieces also so with a simple click we can do that so select this active piece first where we have applied that rigid body first so select that piece first now press b and select the rest of the pieces now come to this object rigid body and select this copy from active just click on that so now each and every piece got that rigid body properties applied so if i play this now you can see all the pieces are falling down okay 
so now let's create an obstacle here so go to this add mesh select a plane now press s and increase the scaling of this plane here and add rigid body for that plane also but type change it to passive okay so now if i play this you can see we got our simulation here okay so scroll down select these pieces okay scroll down come to these collections so you can see all these pieces are in collection one okay so now select this second grass block okay now being selected this one apply rigid body for this also and type let it be active only so if i play this now you can see everything messed up because both are in this same collection so i will select this main cube which doesn't have fractures and i will change this to second group okay here so now if i play this we got our effect already done so now we need to add keyframes here so because you can see the cube will be falling down it is not colliding with the plane because for plane it is given for only collection one for pieces only so our cube will not collide with this plane so hold shift key and enable this second group also so now if i play this you can see we got our cube and also pieces here nice so now let me press 3 on the keyboard for side view and let me move forward in time like where i need to disable this cube in render so i will go frame by frame here so at this frame we got our cube touching the plane so just to before to that move a single frame backward so at this frame select the cube and hover onto this camera icon here press i on the keyboard for adding a keyframe okay so now move one frame forward now just one frame forward and disable this and press i on the keyboard once again so now at this frame the cube will be visible in render but at this next frame the cube will not be visible in the renders okay so in this way we can get rid of that fracture so now let me move on to this material port so now let's add some texture onto this plane so select this plane come to this material properties add new material so come to the shading tab click here now select this principal bsdf press ctrl plus t for node wrangler if you are not enable node wrangler go to this edit preferences come to this add-on and look for node just search as node enable that one and save those preferences okay after that select this principal bsdf press ctrl plus t and from here we can select any of the texture so let me select a wood texture so here you can see i got that wood texture so if you want to add curves you can do that just go to this add and such as curves here select this rgb place it here in between and let me bring this curves down a bit okay nice so now let me move on to this layout once again so now come to this render properties enable ambient occlusion distance to so enable this screen space reflections refractions also okay so if i select this cube here we can see we got these two keyframes which we have added so till 17th frame this cube will be visible in renders you can see we have added a keyframe here and after 17th that means on 18th frame it will not be visible in renders so this is important in order to get rid of those fractures here okay so once this is done let's bake this simulation so select any of the piece here come to this properties sorry come to this scene properties here rigid body world cache so here you can choose start and end frame so i will leave this to 150 it's enough and just click on this bake button so here our bake is done so now we got our simulation done so in render we will not get this cube visible after 17th frame so in this way we can get rid of those fractures visible on objects by using that shell fracture add-on so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye